Hey guys, it's Alicia. I am back with a pin stitch ending and pin stitch beginning video for you guys. So I'm just near the end of my thread here. And um, I'm going to do, I think, one more stitch and then um, show you guys the pin stitch ending. So I do my stitch as normal. And then when I'm ready to end my thread, I come up the center here. So this is the center on the bottom row, right here. So I come up here and then I go down the very center of the stitch area. So this would be, if you're on Ada, you would pierce the center of the square. And then I come back up center bottom row here and go back down the center of the square again and then because I don't like having to flip my work over if I don't need to I bring the thread up just a little ways over and I grab my scissors and I pull up a little bit oh, can't see and I clip it and it just pops back underneath. Now, for the pin stitch beginning. I thread my needle by folding it over the needle. And then, sorry, pushing the threads through. It's just the way I've always done it. Other people have different methods, but that's my method. So to start with a pin stitch, I again start from the top and I go down the center. So when I'm going down the center on my ending, this is the center part that I'm talking about. This is where your cross is, one here and one here. And I go down the center here. Now, you can also end a stitch this way on your bottom leg but I'm starting a stitch this way. So I pull so I got about three quarters of an inch of thread left or an inch. And then I, so I come up the um, bottom left leg and I'm gonna go down the center while holding the threads. I pull it tight. Then I come back up the top right. And again, Go down the center while holding the threads. And then I'm going to clip it off so I come up just so I have my needle on the top. Push my threads out of the way. And using my scissors, cut it really close to the work. And there you go. When you finish the stitch, you don't even see it anymore. So that has been what I've learned this year is how to do the pin stitch from the front and I love it because I no longer have to flip my work over unless I pull my needle out on the back side which then yeah I need to flip it over and um, re-thread it and go from there I'm not saying don't ever flip your work over. I just prefer to work from the front side and not have to flip it over. I do have a Lowry stand, so it's not a huge deal to flip it over, but um, I just much prefer to just work from the front and have a little less work. <laughs> All right. Um, it was mentioned that I forgot to mention my plans for next year on my last video on my other stitch with me so my thoughts for next year is I am hoping to start the hands-on design a year of celebrations and do each of them each month and I'm kind of thinking that I'm antsy to start it and we'll probably start it in December so that I have January done for January so my thought was if a bunch of us wanted to get together and stitch it together, 
I have patterns in stock if you need them. If you're looking for fabric, of course, message me. And I have parchment in stock. I have a few others. Um, wood, if you prefer the wood look. I have a piece of whitewash wood. Um, I have gray, like hazy gray in stock. So if you're wanting to join me in stitching it and um, go that route, that would be great. I've also thought of trying to do like um, incentives or uh, yeah, incentive stitch alongs or challenges where I suggest that we stitch, say, a hundred stitches in a week. Sorry about that. My oldest was just informing me that the dog decided to go to the neighbor's house. So the dog is inside for a timeout. Um, so I'm planning on doing incentives and... Um, like, I personally can't stitch, you know, 500 stitches in a week, most weeks. I can maybe get 50. That would be a challenge some weeks. Um, with a newborn and all that going on. So, I'm thinking of doing, like, incentive groups where, you know, those who can get a thousand stitches in, make it their little goal, and then those of us that you know, work full time or have kids or not as much stitching time, make their goal to be like 50 stitches in a week and just cheer each other on and yeah, see if we can get a little community feeling going on because I really enjoy being able to talk with you guys, not just um, supply you guys with stuff I like figuring out what you guys need for patterns and helping you sort out issues. And I was just discussing with someone today about parking and um, whether it's a good idea to park or not. And like I told her, it all depends on what you want to do. I mean, just because a piece is, say, full coverage, doesn't mean you have to park. You could do cross country, and if a page is too much at a time, or the whole pattern, like some do the extreme cross country, um, if a page is too much, then break your page down into quarters and stitch that way, so that you still get to enjoy the full coverage pieces. But, um, like I said, if parking is too much for you, then do another method. So definitely if you guys have any questions or would like videos on how to do stuff message me i'm happy to help in any way possible all right i am going to end the video here and put it up and if you guys have any questions message me pm me anything you need Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on any that I put up or um, any questions asked about anything. Also, visit us at um, bugsatstitch.ca and see what's in stock. And of course, if you guys need anything and you don't see it on the website, message me. I might have it in stock and just haven't had a chance to put it on the website yet or I can order it in. So, happy to help any way you guys need me to. All right, have a great day guys and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.